So what we're going to talk about today is basically, does cloud computing make sense for SaaS companies? The first thing that I want you to think about, and if there's one thing that you can take, take away from me today is think about this point, which is think about scale while you're planning your SaaS application. Think about scale when you're planning your SaaS application because once you become successful and traffic starts coming to your, um, uh, to your application or to your site, it's a little too late. And we get those frantic calls all the time with companies who've, whose ships come in, who've been dug, and they want to burst into the cloud. Well, it's, it's pretty hard to burst into the cloud when you have tons of live traffic coming at you. The other thing, the other mistake that people make, SaaS companies make, is frankly um, not focusing entirely on where their company adds value. They focus on things that don't matter. They focus on data centers, they focus on acquiring servers and what kind of infrastructure they should use and um, contracts and whatnot. That's not the, the place where SaaS companies add value. That's not where your customers value. The third point is that it's not uncommon for capacity planners to focus on peak and plan their entire capacity and peak. Well, look, you know, during the good times, maybe that was maybe that was okay, an okay value proposition. But from an RI standpoint, especially in these difficult times, that does not make a lot of sense. Here's the stuff that you have to plan for. And everything you're going to see on this page, think CapEx, right? So data center, servers, storage, firewalls, load balancers. You get the idea. Networking gear. All the stuff is CapEx. This is cash coming out of your pockets. It doesn't stop there. Think about, think about this as OpEx. You have to do stuff to that, to that hardware. Uh, it's, not, it's not just going to run itself. You have to procure it. You have to deploy it. You have to patch it. It's a, it's, a plethora, it's a plethora of activities that can make you look like this guy, right? You don't want to be this guy. What is the definition of cloud? We all hear cloud, 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 cloud. What, is that, what does that mean exactly? Let's bring it home. Cloud is basically a set of pooled computing resources that is delivered over the web and that is powered by software. So at the basic level, you have data centers and, and, and servers, right? That's the basic hardware you know, that, that, powers, that powers the cloud. You add to it provisioning and pooling, and you get infrastructure as a service. You get the cloud that's delivered as an infrastructure as a service. You add to it a software environment, and you get what we call platform as a service, PaaS. And then, of course, everybody knows what software as a service is. That's where your application is delivered as a service. So why cloud? Why not? One, it's faster, it's cheaper, it's easier, it's better. And I would say it's radically faster, cheaper, easier, better. Um, the biggest problem is waste today, right? And especially in this, in this economic environment, we can't afford to have waste. I mean, we have to streamline it. This is a typical way of, of doing uh, scaling in the, old, um, in the old model, which is, look, you have to anticipate how much demand you're going to have, right? And you're going to have to plan ahead of it. So unless you're Nostradamus or, or somebody who's got, like, you know, 10 years of data, of predictive data, this is a very hard thing to do in this world that we live in where demand can come in at any time. Somebody can blog about you. Somebody can tweet about you. Um, uh, uh, somebody can uh, write a review. You can appear on Oprah. <laughs> um, you know, you can get dug, and all of a sudden the traffic is going to spike. With cloud, basically you can scale and you can use the resource as your demand requires it, right? Just like you use electricity, you don't have to think about how many power plants I have to build. Um, with a new model, basically you order online and, um, and you pay as you go. There's no, there's no contracts, you know, you pay for use and off you go. You know, just to kind of leave you with these, with these three thoughts, pooled computing delivers much, much less CapEx expenditure for you guys. Um, because it's software powered and it's automated, it's much less OPEX, it's much less maintenance on your part. You don't have to have a big IT staff to manage, um, to manage that infrastructure. And then look, you know, best of all, I mean, you can focus all your resources on where you add value and where you make a difference to your customers. And to kind of leave you with this last thought, look, it gives you the increased ability to be successful when you need it. It's going to give you the ability to scale when you most need it, when most of the interest is coming, is coming to your application and to your site.